Hello, this is KT Lowe, and I'm here to remind you that there's only one flavor that matters, and that flavor is chocolate. Now, let's talk price. Is a $3 chocolate bar going to be the same quality as a $30 chocolate bar? Well, maybe. So what comes in your $3 chocolate bar is you're probably not gonna get as much information. Something like a um, Simple Truth Organic bar for $3.50 is probably going to tell you that it's organic. Maybe a percentage, maybe something like 70%, 72%, and nothing else. A $30 chocolate bar, and there are $30 chocolate bars in the world. They're going to give you a country of origin, a percentage, you possibly what's called a varietal. So even if you're getting, say, a Colombian chocolate bar, maybe you're getting that bar from a particular river valley, or you're getting it from a particular tree. What you get with a $30 chocolate bar is flavor and information. A $3 chocolate bar is usually a $3 chocolate bar for a reason. One, availability. If you can pick it up in a local market, that probably isn't a really good sign. Bars that are on the mass market tend to have lower quality chocolate, may cut corners when it comes to roasting or conching. You might have a grittier chocolate, you might have a fattier chocolate, but that fat coming from vegetable oils. Take a look at that bar, you know, really examine it before you buy it. A $30 chocolate bar is usually going to give you a place of origin, sometimes a tree of origin. There are some tree to bar bars out there that actually give you the number of the tree where it came from. It's pretty cool. There are some $30 chocolate bars that are going to be from extremely rare beans. We used to see Pura Blanca beans out of Peru being in the $20 range. They've come down a bit since then. But there are still heirloom beans that are fiendishly expensive, exceedingly rare. And if you can get a bar with those beans, often it's a really good day. A $3 bar? Ghana. Ivory Coast. Brazil, maybe or increasingly, Indonesia. You know, you're not gonna have those rare varietals. You're not going to have that essential flavor that a really good chocolate can give you. An expensive bar usually will. So maybe you don't have to spend $30 to get that kind of experience, but you know, you could spend eight to 15 and probably do okay. Now let's get to the reason we're really here today. This is Freeze Home. Freeze Home is an award-winning chocolate, as you can see. They won the International Chocolate Awards 2017 Silver Award for this bar. This is a Nicaraguan chocolate bar. And, you know, to be honest, I've never had Freeze Home. I can tell you this was a $22 chocolate bar. Let's see if it and we are worth it. Shall we? A very even molding on this bar. Take a look at that. That's so beautiful. It's like the, gla the gloss on fluorite. Have you ever seen actual fluorite crystals? It kind of looks like this. It looks like fluorite. And a delightful reddish brown. That's real mahogany there. That is... Oh boy. Oh boy. It's It's got that wonderful warm patina and just... I'm expecting great things. It smells great. I'm getting a little tea, like whiff of like black tea tannins. A little smoke, but it's like incense smoke. It's like Nag Shanta smoke. It's not like, you know, someone burnt their popcorn in a microwave smoke. It's good smoke, not bad smoke. Let's try a break. Ooh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's got that nice pop. Ooh, it's better than popping bubble wrap. This tastes great. <laughs> there are 
no air bubbles in that break whatsoever. So this is a really well done bar. Alrighty, this is, it's already past the $3 threshold. because It's just so exquisitely well done so far. I can't stop smelling this. All right, let's try the mouthfeel. It's really creamy, but it's not gross. You know how sometimes if you're even, if, if you're like eating um, peanut butter or maybe even taking a sip of, um, of coconut oil, you're just drinking it out of jar because sometimes we do that. Um, you know, sometimes it can be a little slick or kind of like too much. This is not too much. This is really good. It's got a nice balance of texture and creaminess. It's, that's really the word that keeps coming up. It's creamy. And now, flavor. Opening notes of fudge. Followed by chai. It's, it's, it's light, but it's there. Caramel. I mean, it's chocolate. It tastes like chocolate throughout. Let's not lose that part of this. But I'm getting hints of all kinds of other magnificent flavors with this. A little bit of cherry. Like that, like a little tart cherry. None of these are really overpowering. They're just all harmonizing. And a finish of just beautiful chocolate. It's the apotheosis of chocolate. So overall, this is a $22 chocolate bar. And oh boy, it tastes like a $22 chocolate bar. Everything about this screams quality. So it's using beans from, from Nicaragua, which is not a common place to get your beans from. It used to be. They used to be one of the largest producers in the world. But in the 1850s, a lot of growers in Nicaragua decided to pull up their cacao plants and plant coffee in their place because coffee was easier to grow and brought at that time a higher yield of return. We lost out, you know, we in the future, we lost out on the greatness of chocolate, but at least we have a little bit to savor now. Fairly rare beans coupled with uh, an incredible mouthfeel, just absolute satin. It's not like anything else. It's clearly like itself. Um, lots of complex intertwined flavors, all kinds of things, spices and sweet, and the overwhelming t um, sense of a high quality chocolate overlaying all of this, like an envelope with all these little goodies inside. Like if, if you have $22 to spend and you don't know what to get, get this. This is really good. This is KT Lo, reminding you, just like we do at the beginning, that there's only one flavor in this world and that flavor is chocolate. See you next time. Yes, it is. It's absolutely wonderful.